Okay, let's have a look at our reading for today. We're going to be looking at the person on your mind and what they're currently thinking about you and about the connection. So as I move into each of these piles, what I'm going to do first of all is take a look and check that they are thinking about you, of course, and then move into just seeing what messages come through about their thoughts around you and around whatever is happening between the two of you at this time. If we get any of the piles where it looks like this person is not thinking about you for any reason, we'll just do an energy check-in and see what's going on with the connection or what, what has happened here. All right, so let's move into each of these piles and introducing them. We've got for pile one, let's hope I can get the name right, the beautiful radiant whimsical synthetic RWS and it's paired with the new might. So you might be drawn to these um, kind of psychedelic backs. I think they're so um, beautiful, vibrant with the new might. And the new might might look very plain at first glance, but it is a super powerful stone. So if you're drawn there, you will be pile one. For pile two, we have the beautiful wizard's tarot paired with the moonstone. So if you're drawn to either the Moonstone or maybe the Wizard's Tarot here, you will be Pile 2. And for Pile 3, we have the New Babylonian Tarot with this beautiful uh, Pitcher Jasper. It looks like sand to me or sandstone, but it's such a beautiful stone. So three decks. Three stones. You might be drawn just to the stone or you might be drawn to the deck backs or you could have another method that works for you that you feel called to. And I always say at this point to anyone who is new here or new to Pika Cards how important it is just to take the messages that resonate for you and sit right with you. If anything feels off in any way or feels unsettling or just doesn't resonate with you doesn't connect for you needs to be forced to fit what's going on for you they're all very good signs that that's not your message just leave that one behind okay it's not for you all right let's move into the reading i'm going to timestamp each of these piles and see you at your timestamp see you there okay beautiful pile one let's pop your crystal there your oracle cards here and let's see about this person on your mind so you've got nine of cups, strength, the four of swords, justice, the seven of pentacles, and the ten of swords. Okay. Hmm. So I do feel like this person is thinking about you, Pile 1, from this top row of cards here. You've got the Nine of Cups and even this Four of Swords. They could be finding that, um, you know, when they've got downtime or when they're daydreaming, that you're the person that comes to mind here. And with the Nine of Cups, this can be thinking about all of the ways in which you tick the boxes for them you know this is the wish card right so you know the ways in which you are what they envisioned as someone they would want to be with so I'm just a little bit this ten of swords kind of threw me because everything here as I laid it out was looking like yes 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 and then it was like ten of swords so um, with the strength card up here, which is our major, or oh, we've got justice as well, this to me is them really thinking about the uh, chemistry between the two of you. Because the interesting thing about this particular strength card is the way that the woman is looking head on to the lion. Usually those of you who are familiar with tarot will know that it's often someone with the, either their hand on the lion or resting on a lion. 
But this particular image, you can see that the lion and the woman are looking straight into each other's eyes. And I'm actually feeling that this side here is representing the energy of your person. So we're not talking about gender here. So there could have even been a situation of them almost being quite charming or approaching you in a way that they really stood out, they really shone. And that's not to say that you didn't shine, but when I think about the line, I think about the line being the one who decides who's going to approach. So perhaps you are not someone who is just open to talking to everybody and anybody. I know people are different with how they are when people approach them, but maybe you're a little bit more guarded usually and this person was surprisingly um, charming or surprisingly charismatic because the look on her face to me she just looks like she's really engaging here like she's really engaging in this whole interaction and the, the other thing is so so they may have felt like they were able to capture your attention in some way but she is also very enchanted by this line you can see so it's like the chemistry it's not just a one-way street this is a person who's thinking about the two-way like the way that it was both of you feeling the chemistry the reaction between the two of you so even though they may have felt like I was able to approach pile one pile one you know let me let me in an, in a way that perhaps they don't let everyone in even if it was just a conversation or maybe it was about the environment where they weren't 100% um, sure that you'd be open to connecting, but they feel like, yeah, pile one let me in here, but it was also pile one, you, pile one feels that way towards them and they feel that way back. So it's a two way street. Now it can be flipped. It could have been the other way around where you were the one that approached this person. But I feel for most of you that they were the one that maybe took you a little bit by surprise in their, I feel called to say charm. So obviously they were interested in you and attracted to you and made some sort of effort to come towards you if that's the case but um, take that if it resonates but it's the chemistry is the key point that's coming through so they're thinking about the chemistry they're thinking about potentially not just the ways in which you tick their boxes in the ways in which you have all of the qualities that they have dreamed of here with this nine of cups but also I'm getting a real I know this isn't um, six of cups here but I am getting a feeling of them reflecting on time that the two of you have spent together maybe socially like memories of that sort of time daydreaming fantasizing I'm getting that sort of feel from this top row so I do feel like this is someone who is thinking about the encounters that you've had daydreaming about those times and thinking about the connection between the two of you. Now let's move down to this next row here because this is where it gets a little bit more involved. So I'll just start here with this seven of pentacles because that to me looks <laughs> like the easiest place to start here. So there could be a couple of messages and I often talk about how the cards as I'm reading, they feel often very layered. So one thing that could be happening here is someone who is really trying to focus on either their work or what's going on around them in their life to take their attention away from all of this thinking about you. And that's why we might have got the message about they're thinking about you in their downtime because they're really trying hard to distract themselves with other things or to stay focused on whatever is going on in other areas of their life. So that Seven of Pentacles could be representing that. But the other message with the Seven of Pentacles is, of course, the sense that 
perhaps some seeds have been laid here with you and wondering if anything's going to grow from it. Will anything come of this? Will it develop into something more? Seeing that there is potential for something more to come of this connection. Okay, so they look at this, they look at the chemistry, they look at the time that you've spent together, maybe looking at some of the conversations that you've had, um, whatever's happened between the two of you, it'll be different for different people. It does feel to me like quite a social, like a, a, a pleasant kind of interaction. And of course, I'm not expecting that you'd have necessarily unpleasant interactions in these readings, but this feels to me like maybe you in pile one have shared lots of fun times with this person or some something that's really stood out as enjoyable and felt really connected to both of you okay so they're going back and it's like wow that that really made an impact is what i'm getting so looking at it like it wasn't just that fun though it wasn't just that moment being in that moment it's looking back and saying hey there's really something there we could build on this but will we build on this will anything come of it will anything grow from this and the Ten of Swords could be about the fear that maybe there won't be an opportunity for anything more to come of it. Maybe that was it. Maybe the interactions that happened, they could be worrying, are all that's going to happen. They could be potentially, I mean, I'll clarify in a moment, they could be, for some of them, potentially worried that whatever time you've spent together, it was just about what it was in that moment and that nothing is going to go further or grow further so we'll have a look at that in a moment but before we do let's look at this justice card so we've got leo energy on the table here we've got libra energy here now the thing about this justice card that I'm being drawn to, which is kind of unusual for the Justice card, is I'm being drawn to her foot. And I'm not sure if you can, if you can see it on the camera, if it's showing up, but it looks to me like her foot is not quite flat on the platform next to her, what well, would be her left foot, right? So I don't feel like this foot here is quite stable on this platform, which would mean a couple of things to me kind of veers a bit from the traditional meaning of the Justice card. So I'm going to give you all that I'm getting here. First of all, I do feel that the Justice card appearing is telling us this person would like to bring balance into this connection, would like to see you again, reconnect, see where this can go. All right, that's the first thing. But with the foot that I'm being drawn to, there could be something about them wondering if there is a stable enough grounding here or there could be some sort of concern for them around the groundedness or the way maybe the connection started even for someone hmm i'm going to pull some cards on that it's almost like um they could be working extra hard to maintain balance it, that could be relating to this like trying hard not to Put, invest too much hope into the connection until they know, am I going to see pile one again? Is pile one interested? Is this going to go anywhere? So not to, you know, pin all their hopes on it, let's say, because maybe they are wondering, was it just about the time that you spent together to you or is it something more? So they could be wondering if you want something more. So let's have a look with some clarifiers. At, I feel called to start here at the Ten of Swords, and then I want to move across to the Justice card and see what we get there. So, oops, why is that card like that? Okay, so Spirit, oh, hang on, so, sorry, my cards are a bit wacky. I think that's right. Okay. All right, let's have a look. So, Spirit, for the Ten of Swords, why is the Ten of Swords here? For our pile one, our pile one, why are the Ten of Swords here? Why are the Ten of Swords here?
yeah, this person's maybe wondering if there's going to, like if it was a false start or even if it was just something physical potentially. Like with this Ace of Wands in reverse, wondering if they're going to get another opportunity with you. Is there going to be another chance? Maybe even potentially for a couple of you, wondering will they see you again? Will they speak to you again? So there could have been something here about being brought together for a short period of time or connecting in some kind of situation where there was no guarantee of seeing one another again or that you weren't necessarily going to have this particular these particular set of circumstances arise and that they are only they're not guaranteed you know they will only come about if either uh, the both of you were to make them happen or if things were to really fall into place let's have a look on the bottom here ten of swords again Ten of Swords twice and Strength underneath. Okay. Ten of Swords. That is really unusual, Pearl One. So you have got the Ten of Swords coming up twice here and you've got Strength that was up here. Yeah, see, they're, they're upset or hurting because of this chemistry that they felt. How much this has impacted them could have taken them by surprise. And like I said, this could have felt like it was almost a whirlwind or something that was very brief or took even both of you by surprise here. But this person seems worried that nothing will come of it or that maybe that was it. Or maybe they feel like it was just about that moment, you know, that's it. It was just about that connection, that chemistry. Maybe even it was just about that physical attraction. Not for them, I don't feel, because look, they obviously they've got the Ten of Swords. And I would say because you're here, probably not for you either. Look at that. Yeah, they could be worried that it is complete. Like what it was, is that it? Like what happened, is that the end of the story or is there more to it? And Eight of Swords, feeling like they can't do anything about this or they can't come towards you maybe or they can't say anything. But the thing about the Eight of Swords, which we talk about this all the time, this is a restriction that is placed on the self through the mind. It's a self-imposed form of restriction. So not necessarily a block that exists outside of ourself it's a block that we're telling ourselves is there like i can't do that there's no way i can step through these swords or not being able to see a way that we can do that because of the story we are telling ourselves or because of the limitations we are telling ourselves so maybe that limitation is something like i can't approach pile one because pile one wouldn't be interested or I can't approach pulp. I mean, I feel like you will know what your particular situation is and there will be different situations. But this person seems to feel like, look at that, there's something around communication and them holding back on communicating. Maybe it's even about them not wanting to... Nine of Cups. Not wanting to... Um, appear too forward or not wanting to because we do have knight of cups here so this person has thought about maybe coming forward and expressing some feelings but they hold themselves back because of something they tell themselves and with this ace of wands in reverse and the world it could be like telling themselves there's not going to be a new start to this or a next step to this because it's completed, it's done. And I do keep getting the message about there having been some kind of connection that felt really good for both of you, but it just didn't get off the ground to go further. Now, for a handful of you, it could be something different. It could have been that you had something deeper and it closed out here, 
with the world and they're thinking there won't be another start. But if that's the case, I find it very interesting how this person is thinking about it so much and thinking about the chemistry so deeply because these cards give me kind of a sense of, you know, when you meet someone and you are really thinking about that initial spark in chemistry. So let's come in over the Justice card. Spirit, show me why the Justice card is here, please, for pile one. Okay, that's it. Nine of Cups in reverse. Let me look at the bottom. Four of Pentacles. Judgment. This could be someone who feels like they're just not going to get another opportunity either because they're not exactly what you're looking for or what is this they could even be feeling with this nine of cups upright here and the nine of cups in reverse and the four of pentacles that they can't hold on to this like that maybe they feel like they have something around their self-worth or feeling like I can't go towards pile one because this was something short term. They wouldn't be interested in something long term with me. Take that if and as it resonates. For some of you, I feel like it's about them wondering if you would be interested in them and feeling like, no, they wouldn't tick all the boxes for you. And for others, it's like, you're everything that they want, but they don't feel like they could hold on to you, perhaps, here. We've got the Four of Pentacles, the Judgment. Maybe they feel like if they try to hold on to this, if they try too hard, they'll miss an opportunity. If they come on too strong, that's the other thing as well. What an unusual set of cards there. Okay, let's have a look at your oracle cards here and see if we can get some more information about where this person is at and what they're feeling towards you. But I do feel, pile one, that this is someone who is really thinking about whatever time you've spent together, really thinking about the conversations you've had, the physical connection, particularly if some of you have spent a lot of time in each other's company have had something physical, but they feel like perhaps that's not going to happen again, like it was a one-off or that's closed out. And they're trying to keep their focus on other things around them. Some of them are worrying that maybe they don't tick all the boxes for you or that if they come towards you and they express, as we saw before with those cards um, when I was shuffling for this Ten of Swords, if they come towards you, that... They might uh, ruin a chance, perhaps, of anything developing and that they just need to hold back. They're feeling it's best to hold back and see maybe if you are interested, if you express. This could be someone who really has issues with expressing verbally what they feel but finds it easier to be in... Remember I talked about the charm up here. Remember I talked about the charisma so I know some people think like charisma, that someone's good with words. But sometimes when someone is very charismatic or charming, they can be good with those surface words, the flattery. And I'm not saying that it's insincere because flattery can be sincere, okay? But maybe they're very good with that. They're, talk they're good at talking about their physical pull to you. They're good at talking about, you know, at the sweet talk and they're good at expressing what they feel in terms of their attraction to you. But when it comes to those deeper layers, that's when it gets tough. Maybe there's a bit of armour on for them. Maybe they have a little bit of resistance to that. Maybe they think that is silly or that it will be unattractive to you. It won't tick your boxes, you know. It won't be what you're looking for. 
maybe they think that you one of the reasons you're attracted to them is because they have some kind of certain persona that is strong or a little bit maybe aloof but still has this charm let's let's have a look here these messengers of the heart so we've got healing they are at the end of a big healing cycle coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection okay i just need to clean my glasses all right so healing that's interesting that feels to me like it connects here with this justice card what are they healing from let's just have a look i'm gonna pull a few cards on that spirit can you show me what this person is healing from I feel like these cards are really funny this morning. Hermit. Four of Cups. This could have been someone who went through a stage of finding it very difficult to allow love into their life. We just talked about emotions and how they could find it easy to connect to the physical, to connect to the attraction side of things. But maybe when it comes to looking at love or what's in front of them in terms of emotion, that could be difficult for them. Maybe they're coming out of that phase here with the hermit. Maybe they've gone within a bit. This connection to you that they felt may have been part of this going within with a hermit and of course that's Virgo energy there doesn't mean they have to be Virgo I just mentioned the signs in case you know sometimes people like to know but this was in reverse so I feel like this is someone who for whatever reason likely before they met you had perhaps decided that they were going to keep connections quite physical quite surface and not really look for anything deeper and maybe they've been caused to go a little bit within because of what they felt with the chemistry with you two so some healing has started to occur here let's look at the next card oh wow taming the beast so as soon as i see this it says you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Okay, all right. So part one, S stay with me, all right. So when we first had this card, the strength card out, I talked to you about how I was feeling this was their energy, okay? And that perhaps they had approached you with some sort of charm, charisma, um, maybe even a little bit of a conquering way, okay? I'm not saying they necessarily conquered you. Some might say, yes, they did. Others might say, no, they didn't. But maybe it was that kind of feel, you know? They came with this confident, um, suave approach, all right? And then here you're like, okay, I, I'll listen to you. I'm attract I find you attractive. I'm interested in what you've got to say. And you let your boundaries down a little bit, okay? And then the two of you find that there's chemistry. You're both really interested in each other. But here, I feel like the energy has flipped. And I get that perhaps in this card, you are represented by the woman who is now facing away. See here this woman is facing and i feel perhaps their way of being with you maybe started not to work in some cases or you just decided that yeah whatever was going on here this chemistry that was working here was good for a while but what's more, what's deeper, what, what more is there to you, pile, pile one's person, you know, 
where do we go from there? Okay, you're, uh, do you know if I'm getting a song? And I'm laughing because the song is um, You Don't Impress Me Much. And I'm not saying that this person didn't impress you because I actually feel they do do impress you and did impress you and that you impress them. I do feel that. But it's like the, su the surface bits, the parts that maybe came towards you and that the initial connection was there was great but it's like what's deeper where where to now what's what more is there to this I want to go a little bit deeper I want to see more of you I want you to expose who you are under this under this under this charm you know this beautiful image here show me like don't worry about putting on any kind of raw for me anymore I know you can do this I know you can be in that in that persona I know that's a part of you know, of who you are or how you can be, but I want to see the deeper layers. So it's not about them not impressing you. It's about, yeah, you've impressed me so far, but now take me further. Now take me deeper. And that could have been where the, the stuck bit came, you know. That could be why we have justice here. And them feeling like one foot is a little bit off the platform here. Excuse me, I need to grab a drink. Okay, so perhaps that they're feeling a little bit like, you know, I want to bring justice into this situation. I want to bring balance into this. But I'm not sure I know how to do it. I'm not sure that, you know, this is my, this is my gig. I'm not sure that that's how I am. So... That's really interesting. You're perhaps asking them, and not unreasonably, considering the connection here and the can the chemistry between the two of you, to share parts of themselves with you that they've been reluctant to share with others. And now you're saying, okay, well, if there is something here, if you want something more with me, then be prepared to give something more. So let's keep going here and see what else we have. Memories. All right, yeah, definitely I got that up here. And I did actually mention that, that even though we weren't getting the six of cups, which is a card I would traditionally connect with memories, I did feel that that's something that's happening for this person and maybe even for you as well. Shift your focus. Shift your focus. So a few different things with this card. This person is trying to shift their focus perhaps from concentrating on this connection, thinking how do I do this or am I going to hear from pile one or is something more going to come of this connection? But maybe they're hoping you will shift your focus also and that you will just be calling them back for more of this up here or that you will approach them and not wait for them to come towards you with some expression of emotion that it will make it easier for them. It's not that they don't have the feelings, it's just that they don't necessarily uh, feel comfortable in that energy of expressing maybe. So there could be something around that. Now, these beautiful cards are from my friend Claudia at the Literary Tarot. These are the beautiful Victorian sensibilities. I'm falling in love with these cards, I'll tell you. Okay, let's hope that I pronounce this one correctly. I think it's pronounced Gal Sneaker. And this is a man who is, um, how does Claudia describe it? Who is... Committed to the art of seduction, I think, is something like that. So that actually connects with what we were talking about up here. This could have been someone who maybe is very popular with other people that they try to seduce or maybe they are used to getting a lot of attention because of their physical appearance and their charm. 
this person could have really wanted to seduce you, to get close to you, and then they were taken by surprise by the way things developed and a connection developed, you know, beyond the physical attraction. Hmm. Take that if and as it resonates. You will know if this person, if you identify with them being someone who is um, you know, committed to seducing people or has been in the past. And if this is what's going on here, if they were someone who came in with that energy and now they're like, mm, now I'm being asked to go deeper and I'm stuck here. Ada. Oh, wow. Okay. So my understanding of Ada, it's like um, passion and heat and that pull towards one another. So these two cards together are so interesting. Perhaps the original intention here was for something brief, for something, you know, some sort of seduction, some sort of fling. And then things became much more heated, much deeper, much more intense. Look at the way that they are looking into each other's eyes. This is like a meeting of the souls. Whenever I see people looking into each other's eyes, I always think of seeing past the the human bodies that we are in, you know, seeing deep into the soul. So that feels to me like it really fits with what we've been getting here. That there was something that happened between you two. It could have happened when you were in some kind of physical connection or just spending time together. But something transformed here, something transmuted and... I'm not sure that this is someone who is used to that or was expecting that. Okay. All right. I'm going to shuffle. Let me just grab these cards. I'm going to just pull a few of these cards in before I do the charms. Okay, an offer of commitment. Okay, now this could be either what this person is intending to do or it could be what you're hoping for or what they're hoping for. I will contact you again. I definitely get that they're hoping for that. I am hiding my true feelings. I want to get a few more for you, part one. I need some reassurance and unnecessary worry. Okay. See, I feel like they are worrying a lot. You've got no on the bottom. Yeah, I feel like they are worrying a lot about um, you not wanting them or not wanting the same thing as them. Maybe they're worried you will say no. They're worried that they will be rejected. That could be the thing here with I need a reassurance. All right, let's have a look. Okay, part one. Oh, I've got a lot for you. Yeah, okay. So this green jacket here always reminds me of someone who is a really smart dresser, you know, someone that has a unique style perhaps. There could even be something about a jacket because I was drawn to his jacket there when I was looking at that card too. We've got the little meditating woman. This could be like representing patience or just waiting on your behalf, I feel. We've got an I. Is it an I or an L? An I, I believe. We have got, what's this one? Let me have a look. Oh, the RX, so reverse. Yeah, they want to turn back time. That's what I'm getting here. This person wants to turn back time, for sure. Something casual, maybe, with this little phone. That's what it was in the beginning. A motorbike could have been relevant. The little lolly for the sweetness. 
you know that this feels like it was connected to the time that you've spent together the hairbrush so hair maybe your hair because i notice her hair up there and even in here like the hair in a lot of cards is really significant even here in the world card maybe hair is a feature that really attracted one of you to the other or maybe both of you wine perhaps there was some wine involved all right so we've got the golf clubs here and they always remind me of like the long game taking time patience and right next to it the fox and I know a lot of people say foxes are sneaky, but I always think of foxes as they do what they have to, to survive and they are very strategic and they're smart. So take that even as it resonates. There we have a little bottle of perfume. So something about aftershave or perfume could really be significant um, for either them remembering something you wore or vice versa. And I'm getting a confirmation as I say that. So this charm I feel is really important to a, a quite a few of you that are listening, that there was something about a particular scent that someone wore that is either remembered or maybe you've smelled it lately or they have smelled it lately and it's rem a reminder. Okay, so a particular scent. The little ghost, there could be something around ghosting. Or someone, but you know, laying very low. The portrait. So perhaps this person has a picture of you, or is able to see a picture of you. I always think of this particular portrait one as being a more formal type of picture rather than informal sort of social media snaps. So some sort of more formal picture if it is on social media, like I'm not saying it has to be a portrait, but you know something that's a little bit more. Um, structured we've got Aries the four leaf clover so this can be of course about luck but it also also reminds me of Ireland you know with the leprechauns and the stories of the four leaf clovers so there could be a connection to Ireland something about luck maybe they're hoping to bump into you or vice versa the train there could be something around oh we've got two motorbikes hmm, interesting i didn't even know i had two motorbikes in there um the train there could be something around distance but not so much distance that you would fly okay the baby girl so it's like a term of endearment or literally a baby girl the owl, so owls can be about wisdom, but also about books. I would connect owls to books, to libraries, to hidden knowledge even, to secrets. A hummingbird, hummingbird and an owl. So hummingbirds are, I think that's a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are really um, quick animals. They're able to move in all different directions. So maybe the two of you have quite different kinds of energy. You know, one person is more serious, more sort of a bookworm, and the other person's more flighty, moves around from one thing to the other. Or maybe someone does that, like they switch it up. The dragonfly... So connections to spirit, someone could be very spiritual here or have a very strong faith or belief. We've got A in whatever, it doesn't have to be any particular thing, the letter A, and believe. I'll put that up there with that one. So that's what I have for you, part one. I hope that it's helpful. Um, I feel like this person really wants to see where this goes but is holding themselves back from expressing feelings because that's not their usual way of expressing or connecting, that they are perhaps in a little bit of a pattern of connecting on a more surface level of, you know, expressing attraction, of charming, of doing all of that sort of stuff, and that this took them by surprise, and now they're not quite sure 
are you interested in more than that or was it just about that for you and how do they then approach like what do they do is there a strong strong enough foundation here because on the one hand they seem to be feeling like there is something that could really grow beautifully from this but on the other hand they're not quite sure how to get it maybe off the ground or how to how to broach it like how to open that possibility up how to bring that balance in or maybe with some of the earlier cards we got even if this is a potential that is realistic like will you see each other again are you around each other like nearby so i feel like they are just going over in their head the memories of the two of you being connected hoping the two of you see each other again leave that with you now pile one and i hope that that's helpful sending you lots of love if you want more of my content you can find my other channel in the description where I just do short readings, um, readings from spirit, whatnot, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's pop your crystal there. Let's put your oracle cards over here. We're doing your reading at night. I ran out of time today, got interrupted. So we've got the magician, the ace of swords, okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, okay, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So, this is a person with a big attraction to you, Pile 2. This is some pretty big energy on the table, actually particularly with that magician card next to the ace of swords so i feel like this is someone who is thinking about you a lot also with that devil card they may find that they are thinking about you like a lot you're on their mind you know they think of something else and then you're on their mind again so that could well be the case with those cards there but with the magician energy there too this is someone who feels like this can happen like i can make this happen this could really unfold so there's potential here and they're confident in their ability to bring this relationship to fruition so i need to explore some of the other cards and dig a little bit deeper particularly this five of swords here but just looking on the surface here to me they're thinking about you they want something to manifest with you there's definitely a physical attraction a strong physical attraction but the ace of wands can also be about that initial spark you know that that chemistry getting things up and running as well so there's all that happening here this is a very um, strong I would say a strong set of cards for someone thinking about you I just want to delve a little bit down here and do some clarifying as to what might be going on because I feel like the um, devil card could be saying that this person is having trouble getting you off their mind they keep thinking about how is this going to unfold how can this manifest maybe thinking about how can I connect with pile two? How can I be proactive here? Because remember, the magician brings things from thought to, you know, to the 3D. You know, they manifest. So they could be thinking of ideas, ways to connect with you, ways to reach out. Um, how can I be closer to pile two? What kinds of things would bring us together, perhaps? So let's come down here. I'll start here over the devil card, I think, which seems to me, I'm pretty sure that that's what it's about. It's about them having you on their mind a lot and feeling like, I really want this, like I really, really want this. But it is sitting next to the five of swords, so I want to explore that a little bit as well. Okay, that card wants to come out. Let's just, knight of swords. 
Yeah, this is about their mind, their thoughts of you. Two of Wands. Wondering when, wondering how, going over, how will this happen? Potentially this person feels like they want to see you more than they do as well is what I'm getting. Um, they may have some kind of limited way of seeing you, like you might cross paths only some of the time. So they need to come up with ideas, perhaps ways to connect with you, ways to cross your path or ways to say, hey, pile two, do you want to catch up? But I want to have a look at this five of swords now. Spirit, can you show me why the five of swords is here? Why is the five of swords on the table? Take it that way. Judgment. What's on the bottom? Oops. Six of cups in reverse. Hmm. Six of cups in reverse. King of wands. Empress. You know, I'm getting a message here and I don't necessarily feel that it's for all of you in pile two, but for somebody, this person may have known you for a while and not shown interest until recently. It's almost like their eyes have opened all of a sudden, you know, and that suddenly you're on their radar and now they really, really want this but you were around them for a while or there was some kind of connection where you would see each other and it's just becoming apparent to them now. Let me just, what have we got here? Knight of Cups. And Ace of Wands again. So I do get that this person has had a physical attraction to you for a very long time but now they're wanting to manifest something more from the looks of it. Like when you're thinking about someone over and over, like you're really wanting to get together, be in their presence, find ways of being around them, bring about some kind of ace of pentacles, ace of wands here. I mean, you've got three aces on the table. And, you know, I was always taught that... Um, when you get three of a suit out, look for the one that's not showing yet. All right. So we'll just look around a little bit here, pile two, and just see if we see these cups. Okay. We're just going to pay attention to what cups come out on the table here, because this feels to me like a connection that this person very much knows that they're physically attracted to you. They very much know that they want something to get off the ground here but they may not have let themselves really move more deeply into the emotions yet because I'm not seeing a lot of that on the table. That's not to say that they don't have emotions. We do have the Knight of Cups down here, but I'll reserve judgment until I go a little bit deeper into this and see what is going on with this connection. What is um, what is happening here? Okay, let's dig a bit. Show me more about this Ace of Pentacles. What does this person want with Pile 2? They want to manifest something. What kind of something do they want to manifest? You can see they're hugely attracted to you. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, the Ace of Wands on the table twice. You've got the devil on the table. They could... Okay, full in reverse. Let's just keep going. Tell me about this full in reverse and the ace of pentacles. Okay. 
and Page of Cups. Okay, so we've got the Knight and Page of Cups on the table here. This person wants to explore things with you is what I'm getting, all right? They want to explore where things could go. They want to get on the same page. They want to move forward with you. The Fool is in reverse. Now, the Fool in reverse to me, sends a very different message to the other cards that are on the table. And I'm wondering if perhaps this is like a restart of something and you two might, might be in some kind of lull at the moment or some kind of, tell me what's going on between Pile 2 and their person at the moment. What's going on between them? Like things might have gone quiet between the two of you and they might be looking to start things back up. But the fool often means like stagnation or... Okay. You know, not, not getting started. Yet you've got the chariot, which is about forward movement. And you've got all those aces. So... <clears throat> Maybe they want to break through some stagnation. They want to get some forward movement here. Tell me more about what's going on between Pile 2 and this person. Okay. Some of you may actually not be connected with this person. You could be in some sort of timeout or they may feel like you're in a period of stagnation and they want this to start up again. That could explain why this devil appeared here and why it appeared before in reverse. Maybe they're wanting this new spark, either a beginning spark or a re reignition, you know, like reignite the flame. Let's get it going again. Let's move ahead. Let's create something. This person also, I'm getting something coming through that again it won't necessarily be for everyone but this person may feel if they are a past person that they still are very closely connected to you even if you and them haven't seen each other for a while so i want to see what you feel about this person what does pile two feel about them it doesn't mean that you had to have broken up it could have just gone very quiet never really got off the ground, you know, being something where the two of you had something brief or had something nice for a while and then it didn't get off the ground, didn't go further. But now they want to start that up again. They want to get it moving. They want to bring it out of stagnation, out of this hold pattern. But the star is in reverse. So perhaps they are, They, even though they feel like they can do it, there's something about them also having some doubt here with the star in reverse, perhaps. So on the table, we've got um, Virgo, Gemini energy. We've got Aquarius. We've got Cancer. We've got, Aqu oh, I said Aquarius, sorry. <clears throat> Pisces. What did we have under here? That was Wands. Capricorn. Show me how Pile 2 feels about them. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. I just want another card for that. is that ace that we're talking about so this could be someone that you have a lot of emotion for you want to work on things with them they seem to want to get on the same page with you but i am wondering with the full in reverse if the two of you at the moment and the way that they seem to be really thinking about how can i connect with baldu how can i get this moving forward this Five of Swords energy down here, this Devil energy. I'm thinking maybe you two are 
in some kind of situation where you're not talking a lot or things have gone quiet between you, not necessarily like in a negative way. Some maybe, like some of you might have gone no contact, but many of you, it might have just gone, you know, gradually just didn't, it fizzled, you know, it kind of just down, down, quieter, quieter, and then nothing came of it. And now this person is thinking, no, I really want this. I really want to connect with pile two. I want to grow this. So what's changed? Let's have a look. For those of you who are resonating here, what's changed for pile two? For pile two's person, rather. What's changed here? I did pick up before with that five of swords that there could have been a little hint of maybe them feeling like someone else is around or someone else is on the scene. Maybe that has made them consider that they want to be, you know, if they think someone else is interested in connecting with you, they're like, I don't know if I want things to turn out that way. Maybe previous to that, they thought that they could waltz back in. All right, yeah, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords. Yeah, maybe they thought that you were waiting for them, but they're recognising that you're moving on, you're getting uh, back into your mojo you know you're getting into the flow of things here queen of wands energy you may or may not relate to the energy of the queen of wands but they could be very much seeing you that way they could feel like well i thought that pile two was going to wait around for me and they were going to stay in this sort of holding pattern but now i look at them you know after this time we spent together they were holding for a little while, maybe just doing their own thing. But now I see them out and about or now I see them on social media, you know, connecting with people. I was going to say getting about, but that has all kind of connotations that I'm certainly not meaning. But getting around and connecting with people is what I meant. So, you know, this could be what's happening in some cases here, Paul, too. They may be feeling like, you're not necessarily going to be waiting. They could feel like they're going to be missing out on a chance. That could be what this Five of Swords is about. They could have behaved also with the Five of Swords and take this if it connects only. But the Five of Swords can be about someone behaving in a way that doesn't consider how it affects other people. So perhaps in the past, they behaved in a way that was maybe selfish or it didn't really take your feelings into consideration or someone else's feelings into consideration and they just walked their own path with not a, a lot of care for the impact it would have for those around them and now they're looking back and they're saying oh well okay there are consequences to that and there could even be some feelings that they're having about that that could be what this devil is attached to. Maybe they're having some guilt attached to past behavior if that's relevant for your particular circumstances. So I'll just slide that one back under if I can. I like to try and keep some semblance of um, tidiness on my table, but it doesn't always work. Okay, so that's what I feel is going on here. This to me looks like a group where the two of you are not necessarily having a lot of contact. You're not necessarily on bad terms. A few of you may be, but I'm, I am getting something about distance, like emotional distance here. This person feeling like they want to move back towards you, potentially being triggered by seeing you out and about moving towards not necessarily moving towards others, although you could be, but moving towards more being more sociable, moving towards potentially other connections. And they're recognizing there are feelings there. They want something more. And you might have always known the feelings were there for you, but you could be saying, well, what am I supposed to do? Wait around for them if they're going to move away, you know, towards whatever they want and not consider me or not consider others. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sit around and wait indefinitely. But this is someone who is very much up in their head about you, Pile 2. You've got the Knight of Swords here. You've got the Ace of Swords there. You've got all the, You've got every Ace on the table now. And even though I was asking about your feelings here, the fact that it appeared in the connection, I feel like having those four Aces out speaks to the connection between the two of you. So this is big big energy here. Um, the two of you feel it 
and there could have been a level of Okay, I feel called to go into this because I was just about to say there could have been a level of avoidance from this person in the past and I'm not quite sure why that came through for me. And I'm also getting a song that's coming through. And the song is, um, it's called, not let it, not let it be, um, Let Her Go. And the line that I'm getting is a particular line about the light okay so the main I, I know many of you will probably know it and it's about um you only know you love her when you let her go okay but i actually feel that the line that is important that is coming through is the line about something about you um i should look it up okay pile two so i looked it up and it was actually the very first line in the song. And it said, I'll try and get this right. Um, you only, <laughs> let me try and remember. You only need the light or miss the light when it's burning low. And what I feel that that could be referring to is that if you have been in separation from this person, or the two of you haven't been speaking a lot, that whatever time they have spent away from you, has felt to them potentially like a, um, there could have been some low points, okay? Or it's or it's really highlighted to them the fact that they'd spent the time with you, being away from you highlighted to them what they perhaps feel is missing, like the light in their life. There could be a realisation that being around you brings something to their life that they didn't even know was missing in the past. I hope that I'm explaining that properly. But I feel like when you maybe look at that um, lyric or listen to it, for some of you who it is for, you may uh, connect with that and it might you might resonate with that. So I just wanted to bring that through and to stress that the line I was getting, actually the word I was getting was light and I knew that it was in that song because I got the word light and then I got the lyric. So it's about the light and that person feeling perhaps that there's a big difference in your energy is what it feels like. So maybe they see you as someone who brings a lot of light to the connection, who brings a lot of light maybe to all of your connections, and they don't necessarily see themselves in that way. Maybe that's why this devil energy is here. I mean, the magician is above it, so they recognize their ability to manifest, or is this just telling me that they have the ability to manifest not necessarily that they recognize it because it could be that but yeah there could for a few of you be something about them maybe seeing you as a very as a light being you know like a person that really lights up the room lights up their life and they don't look at themselves in the same terms they, they could feel like there are parts of their shadow maybe that they haven't integrated or that they maybe haven't accepted. So I'll just leave that there and, you know, if it connects, it connects. Okay, let's have a look at your oracle cards and see what they have to say. So we've got the messengers of the heart. Okay. Oh, missing you. I need my glasses for these ones. Okay, missing you. Their life feels empty without you. Oh, wow. Okay, so this, to me, feels very much like what I was just talking about. There could be a sense of, you know, really missing you, even if you feel like, well, you know, we just dated for a while or we connected for a while. The impact that you had on them and the way that that they felt your presence is what I'm getting um, seems to have it seems to have lingered with them okay their life feels empty without you they miss you more than words can say but they think it's too late to fix things okay to fix things pile two so what needs to be fixed and here is this lovely lady 
laying on this branch almost like a hammock balancing and I always um, whenever I think of hammocks which is what this is reminding me of I always think how easily they can roll well I know when I'm in them they do anyway but um, let me just have a look and see what this fix things is about I did mention to you a few moments ago about feeling like many of you yeah that there was something that had you know a few of you may be in separation but look at this three of swords and the moon so perhaps they did behave in some kind of way that was selfish and they can't see a way to come back towards you even though they feel like if they had time with you they could manifest this they could they would know the right things to say the right things to do maybe they feel like i know where i went wrong and i know what i want but i'm not sure how to get another chance here or i don't know if pile two would be interested in another beginning or would pile two get on the same page with me because remember when i came over here i asked what it was they wanted like what do they want this ace of pentacles to be so perhaps they're feeling like yeah i know what i want I think about it I think about it a lot and I also think about the past for some of them but I'm not quite sure if pile two would be open to it and perhaps pile two you are open to it now for those of you where this is a new connection and you've just kind of gone into that quiet lull that I was talking about before where you haven't seen each other and maybe they feel like you're um, moving in a different direction or you're having other offers this could be let me just have a look and see how this would tie in potentially the three of swords and the moon because it says too late to fix things maybe they feel like they had their chance with you and they can't come back in because it was it looked like some kind of situation where they just left you in the lurch maybe there were plans made and they didn't follow through could have been something like that with the three of swords the three of swords can be a pretty heavy card right it can speak to heartbreak and you know looking at it there'll be different circumstances of course for different people here but for those of you where this was early days maybe it was something like this person really let you down and now there's something around trust because the moon can be about illusions and feeling like i don't know this person or Maybe they feel like you will see them that way or they don't see how to come back towards you. So interesting set of cards because you have a lot of them feeling confident in their ability to maybe create with you, but not necessarily confident in their ability to have a shot and reconnect. So let's have a look at the next one. Gossip. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. Gossip. Okay. So, so their vision too. That could also tie in with these two cards, pile two. Perhaps they're under some illusions about how you feel perhaps someone's told them that you're doing different things you're interested in other things or you're not interested in them or you're connected to someone else or maybe there is a lot of gossip maybe you're aware of this i don't think i've ever had that gossip card out since i got this deck <clears throat> i don't think i've ever had it out on the table so that is interesting all right let's keep going new home someone may be moving into a new home sometimes these cards will come through as confirmations i got the name billy so I'm, I don't know that it's necessarily connected with this card, but I just got it as I was just sitting here. So I'm just going to pass through names as I get them. And Zach, I'm getting as well. So new, new home, 
could be relevant for you or them. And maybe. Yeah, well, there's a lot of maybe energy in this reading, okay? Particularly if they're not sure how you would respond. And you've got the numbers 4 and 2 there. So they may be relevant, 42, 24, 4 and 2, second or fourth months. I, f I don't usually call out the numbers on these cards, but I'm being very much drawn to them. So I just um, note them. Now, these beautiful cards are from my lovely friend Claudia at the Literary Tarot. So if you haven't checked out Claudia's channel, I would recommend you check it out. I'll pop it in the description. Ghost. Ghost. Did this person ghost you, perhaps? For some of you, there may have been a situation where maybe they ghosted or they... I did get that they could have been unreliable, but there could have been something about ghosting. The other thing is they may feel like you are a little bit elusive. You know, like I'm thinking here of ghost energy, you know, the energy of a ghost. Sometimes you kind of see it out of the corner of your eye. You can't quite catch it. So, ghost is the first card. And cat lap. So, I think, and I'll check in the card on the cards in a moment, but I think cat lap is like a tea break or a coffee break. I'll put it here over gossip. It could be connected to that gossip card, but it could also be how this person plans to reconnect to you. I mean, you don't have to necessarily drink tea or coffee, but it could be that kind of quick catch up. Like, hey, do you want to catch up for this? Or let's have a chat. Or trying to sort of catch up for something really informal. Let me just check what's written on the cards for Cat Lab. Claudia's written, yeah, tea or coffee break. Yeah. So I feel like that might be about how they plan to try and manifest things, how they plan to try and bring that connection with you or make the connection with you grow, to grow it. Because, you know, some of you may be saying, well, we're not out of connection, but we just haven't spoken for a while. Things are quiet. They're not really moving. So to get things moving rather than see you move in a different direction or even worse, maybe to move in a different direction towards someone else or someone move towards you, they may step in and say, hey, let's catch up or do you want to do this or, you know, but it will be something informal, I feel, something casual. Okay, let me get, oh, my other cards are over here. Let me just grab them. Okay, let's get some message cards now and see what messages we get here. Spirit, for pile two, please, from their person. For pile two, what would pile two's person say to them? I'm getting Evan soon. One day we'll be together. Wow, pile two. This is, um, like I said, this is someone who does have a level of confidence. They do, even though they might have doubts, okay, they do seem to have a certain amount of confidence. A lover from the past is returning. Let's get a few more. And I know sometimes people will say to me, you know, I don't want someone from the past, and that's fine. If you don't want someone from the past, they're not coming back, right? Because you're the you're the powerful one here. You're the one in charge, not any cards. But this will be for someone who does want this person to come back in or for a connection that never got off the ground to get going, you know, to pick up pace. I feel our connection deeply.
We both want different things. Okay. Oh, we'll have to pull on that in a moment. So maybe that was what was said initially. I am going to pull a card on that, but I'm actually feeling like that might have been part of what happened in the past for someone. Maybe they said that. Oh, wow. So I just got a whole stack, but I am actually going to, um, to put them down. So I want to see you again. My happiness is you. I watch you online and a reunion. So all of those, this one here, I just want to pull one card on it. I actually feel like it's connected to perhaps what happened. Let me just ask about it. What's this? We both want different things. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. See, so maybe they have realised with this Ten of Pentacles, which is, you know, completion and material goals attained and things like that, maybe there was something else they were focused on at an earlier time. We've got the Six of Wands underneath. So take whichever of those feel right to you, which really connect for your situation but i feel like the cards that have come out have really connected and that this is someone who really wants this but is worried you're going to move towards someone else or that actually that you already are so i get that they must be able to see you um, being social or that they're hearing perhaps gossip that you're being social. Someone may have even said to them, you know, pile two's having offers or so-and-so is interested in pile two or something along those lines. And they might be thinking, well, hang on a second. I'd intended to catch up with pile two down the track or pile two and I were talking, you know, just because we've gone a bit quiet at the moment, they may be saying things like that um, to themselves or even to their friend, if that's who it was. So... Let's get some charms here. Okay, spirit for part two. All right. What have we got? We've got inspire. We've got an axe, the little chopper. So, yeah, I do keep getting that this is someone who may have cut things off or may have just not been serious about this. Strong is beautiful. Do you know what this always reminds me of? This strong is beautiful. It reminds me of social media because I know a lot of social media has stuff like that written on it. So... That could be a reference to them checking out your social media, but also something about maybe you, I mean, you could do something that makes you physically strong. Like there could be something around you working to make your body strong and that is beautiful. But this can also talk about being emotionally strong. Maybe this is one of the things that's really attracting them to you. If they did not uh, commit or not invest, maybe they expected you to chase them. That could have been what's happened in the past. People could have chased them. Perhaps they were someone that, you know, always had interest. And whenever they backed off, the person would come towards them. But because you have met them, with an energy of, well, that's okay, I'll just do my own thing, they're even more drawn to you. So perhaps these two actually belong together, you know, like an ending. They were expecting a different response, but instead they just saw your strength. So we've got, or even if it wasn't an ending, even if it was just them retreating, I got the word game as I said that. So that's not going to be for all. 
but there could be something around a little bit of someone maybe feeling like that's how the game is played you know one person advances one person retreats then or sorry one person retreats the other person advances that kind of thing we've got the little prickly porcupine we've got the I call this the kapow because I feel like this is like the big impact perhaps words with a big impact there's that 11 so that's the um, often the sign for the soulmates or twin flames The little cat in the light bulb. So light bulbs are about ideas, right? And with a little kitten in it, this could be an idea of how to approach softly, you know, like a kitten, gently, in a way that would be so adorable and sweet that you just couldn't resist. Maybe coming up with an idea that would be very hard to resist because I know a lot of people find it hard to resist a little kitten, right? So that could be the symbology of that. The turtle, so going slow. The snowflake, which speaks to how things can be there one minute and dissolve to the next. And I feel like that's what they're recognising. There is, a, um, I always call it a softball, but it is a baseball. A teddy bear. So... The teddy bear could be like literally referring to a gift. It could be like a symbol to give you a confirmation. But it could also be something around, you know, just this person is very affectionate, cuddly. Maybe they feel you are. Maybe the two of you were very um, affectionate with one another, like cuddly with one another. There's a, a mitt as well, like a mitt with a ball. So maybe there's something around this person really loving the game of baseball. There is a ring and to me, rings about commitment, not necessarily, um, doesn't have to be like marriage, but some sort of commitment. So they might be wanting to show that they're in a different energy. And the grandfather clock, which is about a long passing of time. So that's what I have for you, Pile 2. I hope that it's helpful and that the messages connect with you the right messages connect with you and make sense for you and if you would like to see more of my readings you can check them out at my other channel which is going to be linked in my description box it's just got a few readings up there now but i will add to them over time mainly just um, sign readings or uh, collective messages but i'll keep doing my picker cards here so if you have any ideas for picker cards that you would like to see feel free to let me know otherwise thank you so much for joining me and i hope to see you next time and until then take care and sending you lots of love bye pile two okay beautiful pile three let's pop your crystal there your oracle cards over here and let's see if this person is thinking of you so we've got the empress the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Tower. Hmm. The Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So Pole 3... I feel like this person is thinking about you and I feel like perhaps they're being very taken aback by how much they're thinking about you or what they're feeling towards you. The tower can speak about um, things being revealed or happening suddenly. So... This can be someone who perhaps is feeling like whatever is going on for them in terms of their thoughts for you is feeling like a lot. And even the two of pentacles here, which is sitting under the tower, that can be about feeling... 
like you can't make a choice or you just feel like a lot is going on in your mind. Like it's a lot. A sense of, wow, this is all happening at once, you know. Maybe the thoughts have come in and they're trying to juggle other stuff that's going on and feeling like, wow, I, my mind is just on pile three. I'm. It's not escaping my notice that we also have a queen of cups here on the table. For a very few of you, this could be someone who has another connection, but it doesn't have to be. This could actually be representing you and then wondering if you are feeling the same intensity of feelings for them. But the thing about these cards is over here with the Empress, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like part of them is saying, just go slowly, just take this bit by bit, like move ahead with this very slowly because that's what this Knight of Pentacles is. And then over here, we have this Tower and this Two of Pentacles, which is, I feel, talking about what's going on inside for them, what they're feeling inside about this connection, where it's like, wow, this is passion, this is fire, this is exciting. And maybe they're feeling conflicted about these two energies, you know, the pull that they have towards you and the logical mind saying go slow and also wondering if you feel the same way. Like does pile three have these same feelings or if they do, worrying that you are more, sorry, that they are more invested than you are in the connection. I want to come in over this tower here and have a look and see why the tower is here. Spirit, will you show me please why the tower is here for pile three? Why is the tower here for pile three's person? Yeah, look at this. So this was not expected for them is what I'm getting. We've got the death card here. They were not expecting to fall for you or to feel what they're feeling. Now, if this is a connection that ended, they were not expecting these feelings to be where they're at now. But I get for most of you that this is a new connection and this person has just ha maybe had a timeline that they thought things were going to go on and this wasn't factored in. Like developing feelings for someone at this point was not part of their plan. And so whatever, wherever they were, whatever was going on for them has totally changed. Like it's totally come in and switched up with that death card now look at that the star where am i going to put the star here and the ace of cups whoa pile three so three big big energies there this is really making a big impact on this person Whatever has happened between the two of you, I get that they, it wasn't planned, it wasn't expected. They don't know whether you feel the same way. You've got the, the star and the ace of cups. They're seeing something, some potential here, or they're hoping for something more because of the feelings that they've developed for you. Look at that. Ace of cups. So not only, this isn't just about passion, this isn't just about attraction, there's actual emotion that's developed for this person from the looks of these cards. Some of them may even be saying, I feel like I've fallen for pile three. And I'm not sure if pile three feels the same. I hope pile three feels the same, but I'm not sure if they, they do. 
with the death card as well with these three three big energies here with the death card maybe they feel like that change from the passion you know the initial excitement to the deeper emotions is what's happened for them you know that's what they've moved from and that's the bit that surprised them like it's gone from that level of yeah we connected there was something really nice between us but i wasn't expecting necessarily to fall for this person or for feelings to develop so that could be the case here for some of them this feeling of actually recognizing emotion has developed to become something much more wow okay let me put them back in the order i pulled them let me look on the bottom seven of wands yeah i keep getting that message about them not feeling prepared not feeling like they were ready for this or expecting this. I want to come in over this Queen of Cups now. And see what that's about. Show me why this Queen of Cups is here, please, Spirit. Why is this Queen of Cups here? It's really interesting because as I first went into your reading pile three, I was feeling a lot of like the room felt very vibrant and the energy around me as I was reading felt very vibrant, which I feel is maybe to do with the initial passion, the excitement, maybe the sense even of this person feeling like you're in, you know, on their mind they're thinking about you constantly. But as I pulled these cards, I felt a real switch up in the energy. So it's like this sense of calm, of connectedness to you, a sense of them perhaps getting okay with what they feel, regardless of where you're at. So I have four cards here, but I am going to take them all. Two of Swords. Five of Cups, Justice, Queen of Wands. So with the Two of Swords, some of them may feel like they just don't have a clue where you stand or that they haven't had a discussion with you about where things are at. Like they don't really know where you're at in terms of your emotion towards them. This thing about are they more invested than you? Do they care more? Are they, are they more in with the emotions here than you are? They're just not sure, you know. And, of course, the Two of Swords, I'm always drawn to that moon at the top there. And the moon is about not being able to see things clearly, not being able to get a very clear read on what's going on here, what what's happening with the other person so as far as you're concerned i feel like they don't know necessarily exactly where you're at the five of swords oh, sorry the five of cups is unusual to have here there could be a few of you it's not the main energy that i'm getting coming through with pile three but there could be a few of you where there is a bit of background history with this person. There has been some sort of disappointment and that's why they feel they don't know where you stand. It's not, like I said, the main feel that I'm getting. It's not the main vibration coming through with this reading. I feel for most of you, this is someone new. But there could be something that happened where there was some disappointment here. For some reason they feel shut out a little bit from getting the inside the inside scoop on where you stand and with justice here as well this person wants to know what you feel they want to know if you are on the same page as them do you have the same feelings as them 
And with this Queen of Wands, to me, I just want to sit with that for a minute. I was about to say to, to me, I feel that's about the way they see you as someone very attractive, desirable to other people around you. But I'm actually getting something else here. I feel like with it facing the justice card, that some of them feel like you might be waiting till they come towards you and express themselves fully and open up before you give away too much about how you feel. Hmm. All right, let's keep going with these cards. So I, I've never laid the cards out like that before. It's a, such an unusual way to have them on the table. All right. Now, I just want to see if there is anything else that needs to come through here. Is there anything else here, please? Okay. Ten of Wands, Six of Wands. Does look like this person wants to express to you what they feel and get it off their chest is what I'm getting here. They want to get it off their chest. They want to express to you what they're feeling. Because you've got the Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So it's like they want to put it down. They want to express it. They want to let you know where they stand. What have we got here? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, let go of it. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold back. And it's funny because the Knight of Pentacles tells them to go slowly, like to take your time. Yet this energy wants to to let it out. It, it's more of a forward, like express, let it out, be passionate, don't hold back. But this here is like sort of in between. It is like, I know I'll feel better if I tell Pile 3 how I feel, regardless of how they feel. So it's about letting go of that fear of expressing what you feel not saying okay i can only express it if pile three tells me first or i have to wait to see how they feel before i say how i feel it's knowing that the actual process of letting it out and just being truthful and honest about where you stand is part of Part of speaking your truth, part of letting it go and will actually help them to feel better and to not be in this tower energy and not be in this two of pentacles in reverse. So, all right, let's have a look at your oracle cards here. Of course, we've got um, Taurus energy here. We've got uh, Libra energy. We've got Scorpio energy and with, I just wanted to mention with that Queen of Cups, which of course is the water sign, the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I was getting Scorpio in particular as being important. And of course, we've got Scorpio again here, but I feel like there may literally be something about the time of Scorpio to do with this connection. So November, um, end of October, November, may be a relevant time or an important time to do with the two of you there may be something around then and of course we've got Libra energy down here um I won't move all the cards and make and we've got Aquarius energy I won't make a big mess of the table but that's just what I can see from where I am so we've got these messengers of the heart cards and I feel like these ones give really big balanced messages so they're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene to bring the two of you together. See, that to me feels a little bit different to what I was getting over here. So maybe they move in and out of that. Like sometimes they're like, I want to come forward. I want to express or they know that expressing will make them feel better. It will lay down their burdens like they're carrying this with them. They're carrying their feelings with for you with them. And it feels right to them. They know it would feel right. It would feel good to tell you what they feel. They know that here. But perhaps they 
they think to themselves, I'll take it slow and I'll just let things unfold. I'll leave it up to the universe to actually make it happen. But a part of them also feels like you're not going to um, express or they're not going to find out how you feel unless they tell you how they feel maybe because of that last message that came through with this Queen of Wands Justice card. These two cards here. So, hmm, what else have we got? Breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept themselves away from you. Okay. So the line that's jumping out at me here is leaving behind all that kept them away from you. Perhaps for those of you who resonated with the message of this being a past person, maybe their reluctance to express was part of what kept them away or that whole thing about them having a particular timeline that they felt things would play out on. Because remember with that tower card, I kept getting something about them being taken by surprise or the depth of their feelings shaking them up a bit. Like it wasn't meant to happen now. Maybe they were thinking to themselves, well, in one year, that's when I'll meet someone. I'll develop feelings. I'll settle down, you know, or whatever, whatever was there thought process and things don't always happen according to these plans that we lay out so maybe they had these kind of self-imposed restrictions and so they're letting go of those and they're saying okay I recognize that the universe just works how it works you know and things happen and sometimes we meet someone when we least expect it and if something develops and you meet someone where there's the, this connection and you feel something, it can be just wonderful to go with it, you know, to, to let go of any preconceived ideas about how your future would look or how it would play out. So take that however it connects for you via phone. So maybe there's something coming in via phone in relation to this person. What else have we got? Closure needed. What is needed? Why is closure needed? What is that needed for? I'm going to pull a card on that one. Why is closure needed? Closure needed. So we've got the Nine of Wands and the Hermit in reverse mm. and the Chariot. <clears throat> Do you know what this feels like to me? Pile three? <clears throat> yeah, Two of Wands. This actually feels like they may need to close out some of their preconceived ideas, what we were just talking about. Closing out some of the... this. It feels like it could be about rigidity, you know, someone who's very rigid, who isn't flexible, doesn't tend to bend with things, uh, has a very fixed nature perhaps. And, of course, we've got Cancer energy here, Virgo energy here. But <clears throat> this could be about them just needing to close out old ideas, open up to new adventures, open up to going with their heart not living so much just by the head. And so all these thoughts of you and all this emotion that's coming along with this connection is really challenging them to 
get connected to the deeper parts of themselves that want to they want to grow and change and to find beauty in their emotions not to be stuck and limited by maybe things that they were taught or ideas that they have built up around themselves maybe from past relationships past connections past experiences just to go with it like just to embrace it and live true to their heart true to what they're feeling here so they need to close out something something to do with old ways of looking at connections maybe old ways of approaching relationships maybe meeting you has really caused them to question whether they should just sit on their emotions this time you know maybe in the past that's worked for them but they're recognizing that you're not someone who is just going to you know it's going to need to be it's going to need to be give and take with you you know you're all about justice so you may actually have Libra in one of your big three placements. You don't have to, but there's something about you having an understanding of relationships and you're not going to let someone just be in your energy without saying anything for an extended period of time. Okay, so if this person wants to be around you, I get that they're going to need to express. They're going to need to say something. So it's like you'll give them a certain amount of leeway and time but you're not going to just let someone sort of linger and take up a lot of your space and time and just never express anything when they have feelings, okay? It's like, yeah, we're not going to just spend all this time together and this go nowhere because you're afraid to open up or because you feel like I have to come forward first, okay? We're not going to play that game. If you, if you have these deep feelings that have developed, then please express them to me and we can start to explore this. So... Some of you will be where this person's at in terms of your feelings for them and others may not quite be in as deep as they are. But either way, it feels like you just want someone who's going to be open and prepared to express themselves, not to hold back, not to place limitations on their own expression. It's not to say that a relationship can't develop slowly, but you don't want someone who is like, I can't say that, or I don't want to look foolish, or I don't, you know, you don't want someone who plays games. And I'm not saying this person plays games, but I feel like they do perhaps put limitations on themselves, or they feel like they don't really want to open up, or they find it difficult to open up. And so you're allowing space for them to do that. And... If they do that, great, then things develop. But if they don't do that, there's going to be a block here. So they need to look at closing out some old patterns there, perhaps, that have kept them stuck from opening up. All right. Now, these beautiful cards are from the lovely Victorian Sensibilities deck from my friend Claudia over at the Literary Tarot. If you haven't checked her out, I would suggest you do. She will be linked in my description. She's got a great channel. Rusty Guts. Okay, so um, I, I will look up what Claudia's written about this card. But my understanding is that this is someone who maybe is... A, this could be someone who is a little bit stuck in their ways from my feeling of the cards. A little bit uh, gruff, you know, in their mannerisms or a little bit rough in their mannerism. Let me just sit with this. So... Maybe this person has gone through life and past connections in a way where they've been able to have relationships with people or connect with people without giving too much openness or too much of the heart or expressing too much. But with you, they know it will be different. Let me just look up what Claudia has written about these cards. Where are my where are my other cards for it? Okay, so Claudia's written a blunt, rough old fella. So I mean they may not be an old fellow, but maybe their mannerism is like that, you know, they're blunt. They're a little bit rough around the edges. They're someone who 
thinks emotions are perhaps a little bit silly to express or they feel silly expressing. And so maybe that's why this all feels a little bit, whoa, hang on a second, hang on a second, I'm not used to this. <laughs> and so that really is making sense for me, connecting to this. Even if this person is someone younger, maybe they're just not someone that's used to getting into the feels, you know. It's like, how do we go there? How do, how do I even say this? They could be a person who is used to expressing feelings through action, through uh, express like physical expression, through anything other than verbal is what I'm getting. But via phone, why am I being drawn over here? There could be something about them maybe expressing in words over the phone. Actually, that came through in another pile, but not this, the, just the phone bit. But... Yeah, take that however it connects for you. And tenter hooks. So that's someone that's waiting, right? When you're on tenter hooks, you're waiting. Waiting patiently, just longingly. She's looking out the window. Maybe you have been waiting for this person. Some of you may even feel like you have expressed yourself. You've done what you can do. Now you're waiting for them. You're waiting for them to let you know how they feel. And maybe they are being surprised by their feelings, but they just don't quite know how to express them. They know that they need to break free. They know that letting this burden out, like the, carrying the feelings might feel like a burden. And they know that letting them out would feel really good. But actually doing it would be a challenge. Interesting. Okay. Slide you back under there. So let me just get... You can hear the rain out there. It's just started up again. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let me just get a few of these message cards here. Let's make, see what they have to say. The timing is not right. Okay, yeah, we did talk about that, didn't we? We talked about this person perhaps having some ideas about timing. But, you know, I don't feel like we always get to decide timing, particularly of meeting people, of developing feelings, of, um, you know, these kind of connections that come into our life that we don't always expect. And can you hear that rain pouring down? It's so beautiful to be reading in the rain. I feel like... That's one of my favourite times to be reading. So the timing is not right. This is about what they were perhaps feeling when they met you. But I feel like they're recognising that it doesn't matter what they think about the timing. You know, it's not going to change how they feel. We both want different things. All right. This could have been something that was said in the past. We both want different things. Patience. I'm going to put that right on this card. Tent hooks because if they told you you both want different things, maybe they were focused on another area of their life. Maybe there's someone that says the timing's not right because they want to get something else done first. They've asked you to be patient, to wait for them to do something. Um, maybe that's why you've been waiting for them. Maybe they're like, Yeah, I've got these feelings, but I'm not going to express them because I, I, I'm going to hold tight to my timing. I feel like some of them will actually face that challenge. And they will say, you know, because if we put these limitations on ourselves, it's a challenge to face them, to pull them down. They're kind of like a wall that we put around ourselves and we say, 
all right, I'm not gonna breach this wall. I'm not gonna go past it. This is my line, my line in the sand, and I'm not gonna go past it. So if their line in the sand is, I'm not going to enter a re relationship until I achieve this or that, or until I've, you know, this amount of time has passed, then, you know, that's kind of like their barrier. Some of them will confront that and will move towards you and say, this is, great to get it off my shoulders and to let you know how I'm feeling. Others may choose to hold on to that. They may choose to hold on to those feelings and keep them inside and say, you know, I'm just going to keep this here, be stubborn, stick to this kind of rusty guts energy, hold it in. And they might take longer, you know, to come forward. I feel like you have a sense of where that person's at, whether they're starting to break down to come towards you and I don't mean break down in a negative way I mean break down the walls you know come towards you a little bit open up unnecessary worry yeah there's no point in you worrying about it because um you know worry doesn't change anything and it's up to them really what they're going to do in terms of whether they're going to express themselves you know they can carry these feelings you can only say okay this person I feel like they care about me. They have maybe even expressed that they care about me. But if they've put some sort of limitation on it, that's not about me. That's about them not being able to be flexible or about what they want to do right now. So that is what I have there. Now let's pull some charms and see what we get for you with the charms. Spirit for pile three. now it's really coming down all right yeah look at that so the little heart with the um with the little hole for the key so this person i feel they hold the key they hold the key to unlock this connection and the way that they could unlock it is to express are they going to express yes some of them will i feel like most of them know that the way to alleviate the stress that they may be creating for themselves is to express they want to express but a few of them are still finding it very difficult to find the words to break their beliefs about you know you should do this or you should do that to break their beliefs perhaps about the person that they are and how they communicate or how they don't communicate we've got the fish there so maybe pisces energy intuition i feel like you intuitively sense what's going on with them when they're thinking about you maybe the triangle remember at the beginning i mentioned a couple of people they may be a third connection here it doesn't have to be a romantic connection i always say it can be any kind of third energy like someone being really involved with their work you know, that kind of triangle energy, even an interfering friend or someone who really knows a lot about the connection or what's going on. L, look at Lisa as I put that down. The brain, yeah, see this person, they're all up in their head. They don't go from the heart, they go from the head. And what's surprising them, why I feel the tower is here, is that the heart is really kicking in and they're being pushed to come from the heart. They're being urged to come from the heart, to break out of this box that their head keeps telling them they have to stay in. And I'm not saying to let go of all logic, all right? I'm not saying that Spirit's saying to them, let go of all your logic, let go of maybe wanting to go slow or whatever your ideas are, not to let go of necessarily what your other plans are in life or your goals, but just to also be able to come from the heart. The little peace symbol inspire we've got a b here we've got the arrow which to me is like cupid's arrow hitting them the light bulb so maybe an idea has come to them about how they can connect the kite so the kite 
can be about ideas. Also about being up in their head. Also feels like it connects with this energy here to me. Feels very swordy with the palette. This could be, um, I didn't really get a hugely creative vibe from them. That's not to say they're not creative. But that wasn't really coming through in the reading. Maybe it's coming through for you. For you, the little um, truth, I call this a little truth injection. Yeah, there's that little calculation. So being very calculated and no surprises here with the porcupine, which I feel we should put on rusty guts because this could be someone who's a little bit prickly, a little bit, um, like I said, doesn't think that emotions are really something to be taken seriously or something that they may say, oh, you know, that's that's silly, you know, are you why are you getting all up in that sort of stuff? Or oh, this is soppy, you know, that kind of thing. But deep down, I don't feel like they are really feeling that way. This is someone who is connected to their feelings or is getting a sudden insight into how their emotions can impact them and are impacting them. They get getting, look at this, which I just want to come back to these cards here. Something is shifting within them, okay? And it's to do with their emotional state, their feelings, perhaps their feelings towards you as well here with this Ace of Cups, all right, and the Star. Something is happening within them where they are now starting to recognize the beauty of love, this connection. I said perhaps to do with you, and I do feel it is to do with you, but I also feel this Ace of Cups is to do with them, connecting to their own emotions. It's like there's been a big shift within them. It feels almost like a shift out of just operating from their um, material world into their emotional world as well and that is allowing them to connect in with their feelings for you so it's not just about their feelings for you it's about shifts that are going on within them and it's allowing them to open up in turn to what they feel for you so it's kind of like it feels like a circle like meeting you the stuff that's going on with you has shifted them and opened them up. And then that opening up is allowing them to get deeper into their feelings for you. So kind of like this cycle is what I'm getting. So I hope that that was helpful, Pile 3. It was a really interesting um, reading for me to be doing. And I, if you want more of my readings, I actually am starting to post on my other channel where I'm doing more messages from Spirit, short readings. I'll probably try once a month to do... Um, just short readings for each of the signs. Sending you lots and lots of love. Take care. See you later, pile three. Bye.